this footpath over here, you see. Seems all right. Well, it's a good, solid three-mile pull through some magnificently English scenery. Good thinking. To the crossroads here. Where? Here, here. Ah, oh. right here. <laughs> see? Now the hiking party can then be picked up by a car. Ride right back in comfort. Why not? Why not, indeed? <laughs> Have you got that? The car to be at Netherfield Crossroads at about what? Ooh, an hour and a half? In about an hour and a half. Synchronize your watches. <laughs> All clear so far? I think so, dear. Good. All right. How to get? What? <laughs> yes, of course. Yes. You. I can have the map. I've worked out a route for you. And we'll pick you up at Netherfield Crossroads in about an hour and a half's time. All right? There you go, gents. Mm. Oh. Cheers. I like the country. Do you? Yes. Which one? <laughs> this one. Ah. All of it? <laughs> all of what? This country. Oh, good Lord, no, not all of it. Yeah, I thought not. I don't like some of the unfortunate things that have happened to it. Yeah. Like Liverpool. <laughs> Dismalization. <laughs> I used to love that old half crown, you know. Used to live in the top drawer of my dressing table. I expect Aileen's moved it somewhere. <laughs> Have you looked in a screw topped jar marked desiccated coconut? <laughs> no? I should. Jane always puts things like that in a screw-top jar marked desiccated coconut. <laughs> <laughs> things they do. Mm. Where does yours keep the fuse wire? In a knife box. <laughs> <laughs> Mine keeps it in a biscuit jar. I think you're onto a good thing there. Think so? Certainly, yes. I mean, the worst that can happen if the lights go out is that somebody's fingers get covered in crumbs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you ever tried to mend a fuse with a length of chocolate wholemeal? <laughs> uh, it can't be as bad as fumbling about in a knife drawer. Every time the lights go out, you know, I get this terrible pang of fear that Aileen's going to start slicing her fingers to pieces. <laughs> Does she? No, she never has, no. But uh, it's damn nerve-wracking. Sitting there in the dark, you know, waiting for the scream. Mm. <laughs> That's Jim. Mm. Sorry. I thought it was. Hello, Regulus. Hello, Ty. What on earth are you doing out here? I'm just marvelling at how lucky I am that even way out here, Redvers, 
I should bump into you. <laughs> it is young Dolly, then. Good Lord. Good morning, Vicar. Oh, it's Dolly, all right. He's let some damn fool talk him into one of these useless protest things. I wouldn't say it's useless. I'm right, though, aren't I? Some damn fool's talked you into it. Not exactly. I know you too well, Tully. You're too warm-hearted. He can't say no to anybody. Who was it? Come on. Who was the idiot? Diana, actually. <laughs> Diana who? His wife. <laughs> oh, that Diana. <laughs> How is Mrs. Tolliver? Obviously getting worse if she's putting him up to stunts like this. <laughs> stunts? This is something we both feel very strongly about. Since when? Since, um, well, for a long time now. But what's really brought it home to us is since we've been looking after the Murgatroyd's goldfish. <laughs> You're looking after the Murgatroyd's goldfish? I am. And I've, I've really learned to love that little thing. It's, it's got character. It, it knows me. All right, just, just, just steady on. Look where you're waving that thing. We've a lot about a lot about life from watching a goldfish. There, there, Tolly. We learn how how helpless creatures are and how much they need they need they need kindness. Look, I'll hold that placard while you can you can wave your arms about as much as you like. But... Never seen the boy so roused. <laughs> Does him credit. English love of animals with roast potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> so, one doesn't like to think of. Things crammed into small cages, like the lower orders in closed shops. <laughs> Back to the end, on the picket lines. The trouble is, it's not very well. What's that, Tolly? The Murgatroyd's goldfish. Oh, dear. Which is another reason why I'm a little... a little tense this morning. I'm sorry if I seemed excitable. It's all right, Tolly. We always make allowances for you. What else are friends for? Thank you, Redfords. The specialists were both aware of your... your disability. What disability? A wife like Diana. Stop <laughs> that. I find it very upsetting, being threatened. You've been threatened? Hmm. By the farmers. They didn't like me standing here with that placard. They threatened to... to douse me with a bucket full of... Sh something very unpleasant. <laughs> There's no soap and towel in your loo. What do you do, fall in it? What do you mean? <laughs> get out, you. Who are you talking to? Get out, you Don't dirty old man, before towel. I have your hose Don't down. Do that, Go on, me. get out. I used to be out. Potter Mints, you know. Out. Potter Mints, man, the Hotter Mints. And stay out. I... No, never mind. Doesn't smell like peppermint to me. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming, Padre. I think I'll ride with Tolly for a while, Redvers. <laughs> Vera, baby, tell me I may always dance the anniversary waltz with you. What do you mean, who is it? <laughs> it's me, Harry. Vera, language. I'm your ex-husband. I'm entitled to some respect. Vera, all right. So you caught me with another woman. All right, 14 other women. <laughs> perfect. So, Vera, it didn't mean a thing to me. Hips that pass in the night. <laughs> Vera, Vera, I'm a different person now. I mean, I'm not into anything bent anymore. I've retired from organised crime. Anybody bugging this phone, please note. <laughs> Vera, 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 listen. Listen, you'd like me better now. We, we could talk more. Yeah, you know, talk. I talk. Well, like what you've been doing, all the alimony I've been paying you all these years. <laughs> Vera, Vera, try me, baby. I'm, I'm a much more older, more rounded person. I'm not fat. <laughs> I need you, Vera. It's impossible to get a mistress who'll take an intelligent interest in your hypertension. <laughs> oh, Vera, Vera, come back to me. Look, we're in the autumn of our years. Come back to me for crap's sake before all my leaves fall out. <laughs> that is disgusting! Vera! 
He's that Potter. Cool. What are you pulling a face for? Butler's is supposed to be impassive. Impassive? Oh, be, be, be a great airy twonk. You're <laughs> supposed to be dignified. <laughs> There's something missing. It's the eyebrows. Shoot them up. That's better. Dignified. Go and battle. Show me. <laughs> ah. Tombs, the very chap. <laughs> and that's you banking on my door with a piece of old railway line. <laughs> I was tapped on a door, didn't I? Good Lord. I've seen big feet smaller than that. <laughs> Here. Moody Harry says, see if you can get the vase. Oh, thank you very much. Most kindly. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand it. Now, what happens when a geezer's been up and down the pews and he's mugged the congregation with the collection plate for all they got? He takes the collection plate to the altar. Then what? I bless it. You don't count it? <laughs> Not at that stage. A bad move. It's counted later in the vestry. You want the truth, Vicar? Hmm? That is a very sloppy procedure. You've got too many people with their fingers in the plate. Too many people with their fingers? What's with him? Tolly handles the collection. Yes, I do. The nice one, Tolly. <laughs> <laughs> and looks after other people's goldfish. Oh, <laughs> well done <laughs> this oh, day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very tasty. <laughs> it's speedy, isn't it, Redvers? It certainly what? fits you, Redvers, whatever it is. Like it was sprayed on, I said it would. Oh, yes, I like it. There's a confident charm about it. That is uncanny, that is. That suit belonged to one of the greatest confidence tricksters in England. Eddie the Gent. <laughs> the last suit he ever had. Hardly wore it, he did. You look... Well, well, he always had great taste, that Eddie the Gent. Very fond of the threads, he was. What happened to him, John? <laughs> About your size, he wasn't all. Sure, it gives me quite a turn to see that whistle coming alive. What happened to him? None of your business, Tully. I expect he passed away peacefully in the fullness of his years. Yeah, they were going to bury him in it. Alive? <laughs> what are you talking about, alive? Well, the uh, suit certainly looks alive. My feelings exactly. Bury material like this, I thought never. So Eddie the gent went in his underwear. <laughs> it's very nice underwear. And for sentimental reasons, I uh, rescued the suit. I had the uh, hole in the middle of the shoulder blades invisibly mended. Nerve shot up with another Tolly? I should think so. I don't like the suit either, Tolly. There's no need to go to pieces. What's wrong with the suit? It's not the suit. Oh, are you see? Oh, well, if you can stand the suit, then the old nerves can't be that bad. <laughs> it's those awful people. Moody Harry, Harry, and that, that head crusher he lives with. <laughs> awful people? Give you the suit off his back. <laughs> off any of the gents' back. It must be charitable, Tolly. It's always a pleasure to welcome new people to the parish. They don't go to church. Oh, well, that's true. But who does these days? We do. We do? Ah, yes, but then we've all got something to do. Well, you're the usherettes. I'm the projectionist. Where's the audience? <laughs> Door's open now, Tolly. Try and be a little more friendly towards people. Friendly? What happened to Eddie the gent? How friendly was that? <laughs> Natural causes, Tolly. I expect his tailoring went septic. <laughs> now, damn it, Paddy, it's not a bad suit. And remember this, Tolly. Moody Harry was quick enough to offer help with your factory farming protest. You made a valuable recruit there. Will you come inside with me a minute? I don't think I can face the Mercatroyd's goldfish alone. It would be much easier to get to Rommel, would he? <laughs>
Oh, I knew it. Oh, God. It's practically cat food. <laughs> well, you're the expert on the sick and the dying. Padre, what do you think? Well, I wouldn't buy a lot more fish food. Oh, I knew it. Now, <laughs> uh, don't despair, Tolly. Mustn't read things into the fact that it's lying on its side. Waving its fins listlessly. Oh, Lord. Fighting for breath. Oh, don't. Showing its belly. Oh, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> now, keep calm. Keep calm. It's all very well for you, Ridvers. You don't have to take the responsibility. Well, no, do you, Tolly. They won't blame you for it. They will blame me. I can just see the Murgatroyds rolling home with big grins and a healthy tan, only to be met by a dead goldfish. If they've come through Heathrow Airport, they've lost more than a goldfish. <laughs> Look, stop looking at him. Go and sit down. What good would that do? Well, a watched pot never boils. I don't want it to boil. <laughs> well, now, we're going to sit down here for the next five minutes with our backs to it, and we're not going to look at that goldfish for at least two minutes. Right? A two-minute goldfish? Do you think that'll be enough? Even an egg wants four minutes. <laughs> and that's if you want it soft. Two minutes is a short time in human terms. But no doubt to a goldfish, it seems longer. Even runny. It won't make any difference. If it's going to die, it's going to die. Rum life being a goldfish. Not for a goldfish. Probably not. Difficult to put yourself in its position. Yes. Well, you'd have a devil of a job to find a bowl big enough for a start. <laughs> I wonder what it's thinking. I know what it's thinking. It's thinking, I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm going to die. Now, Tully, Tully, Tully. You can't. I can't stand it. I must look. It's the waiting. Cheer up. Tolly, where there's life, there's what's its name. What do you give it? Give it? Medicinally. What do you give a declining goldfish? Well, I don't know, not just off the top of the head like that. What would you give it, Padre? About 20 minutes. <laughs> At least there's one thing we can do with it. Um, <clears throat> do, you, uh, do you think there's any point in waiting here, Redvers? Just leave this to me, will you, Tully? But uh, will the vet do goldfish, do you think? You mean do goldfish? Well, <laughs> they're, they're so small. What's that got to do with it? The Padre here marries small people as well as large people? <laughs> any size, old chap. Oh, I was here. Of course, you feel sorry for the small ones. <laughs> Come back here! <laughs> Let me have a look at that, will you? No, it's all right. Not all right at all. You might have a very nasty bite there. No, no, no it, it. it's hardly nothing. Right? <laughs> That's just what they told Gordon Westbrook. But, but, but it's hardly punching the skin. That's it. That's how it goes. Get a false sense of security, and then bingo. Bingo? <laughs> You remember Gordon Westbrook? Oh, yes. A sad case. Oh, dreadful. Don't worry. You'll be all right. You're lucky. <laughs> You've come straight to a, a person who is both competent and responsible. Tully, bring that uh, bowl over here a minute, will you, please? Tully. Tully! The bowl! Please get... That's it. No! Oh. <laughs> There's a fish in there. I know. Don't knock it about. <laughs> But is the water clean? Not one of these hygiene fanatics, are you? Well... Damn it, Damn it I come up here with this nifty piece of medi medical improvisation to take the pain away. And all you're concerned about is whether it's clean or not. What about the fish? Should he be bleeding on the fish? Not exactly bleeding, is he? I hope not, Redvers. God knows what would happen if the Murgatroyd's goldfish ever got a taste for blood. Mm. <laughs> How's it feel now? Wet. Ah. Well, that calls for a bit more improvisation, doesn't it? Excuse me, madam, won't you? Here, wipe it on that. What? Don't you dare! Well, well... Why ever not? It's so obviously the thing was bred for that, wasn't it? <laughs> now, look here, madam. Now! Oh, please, no, please, just a minute. You really need to take it back. It really back doesn't back. hurt all that much. Get it out of here! You see? Much worse than you thought, isn't it? Oh, what did the naughty man do to oh, you? Oh, oh. Hey. Keep away from me! Go on, get all right, away! All right. 
<laughs> Charming, isn't it? Do your best for a fellow in this of the arm. I should pack it in, Redvers. You can't help a hysterical type. He's probably accident prone. Mm. Born under an unlucky star. Red star, I shouldn't wonder. <laughs> <laughs> They're encouraged to make a meal of their difficulties, aren't they? Yeah. Pull yourself together, man. You come here in your flash suit. Flash suit? This is a sporting tweed. <laughs> Doesn't he know a sporting tweed when he sees one? Oh. Now what's the matter with the man? Oh, I don't know. Rabies, probably. <laughs> Look! And stay out! What about this boy's goldfish? You know what you can do with a boy's goldfish? Oh, very scientific. <laughs> it's easy to see that you've had a first class training in one of the nation's minor polytechnics. Oh, come on, Redvers. <laughs> well, Redvers, the temper he's in, I don't think he is hand steady enough for the boy's goldfish. I wouldn't let him touch the boy's goldfish. It's on your conscience. Well, get him out of here. Oh, yes. The big stick for the boy's goldfish. What about a word from your profession about factory farming, eh? Come on, Redvers. Eh? No good. I can't bear to look anymore. You tried a drop of whiskey? Good idea. I'll try anything. <laughs> what are you doing? A drop in the water. Redver's idea. Not for the fish. <laughs> Lots of whiskey for the padre and me. <laughs> Pour yourself a small one while you're at it. It's the fish who needs to pick me up. Any chance of getting him out of the room for a while? Nothing to it. Good. Just pick up the bowl and walk out. Not the fish. <laughs> Any chance of getting Tolly out? Oh, him. Easy. How? Leave the room a minute, Tolly. Hmm? <laughs> That's very tactful, isn't it? <laughs> I want to get him out without arousing his suspicions. Well, I've had a go. You have a shot now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Tolly, would you mind making us a pot of coffee just to wash this down with? What, now? Yeah. Wouldn't it be better to have another of these? Dandy, yes, no, now, yes, Dolly, yeah. Mm. Sure you wouldn't like a plate of sandwiches? Mm. Perhaps a barbecue or something? I don't want a plate of barbecue, do you? Mm. <laughs> right, now we can get down to it. Get down to it? Yes. <clears throat> Measuring the goldfish. You got a tape? A goldfish tape? <laughs> You're not going to believe this, Redvers, but I haven't got one on me at the minute. <laughs> now we're going to have to improvise, aren't we? Mm. Give me a shoe. Shoe? Yes. Mm -hmm. I might be very best when it comes to improvisation. Shoe. <clears throat> the lace I want. Don't get it wet. <clears throat> right. Right. Now. Ah ha! Yes. yes. You are good when it comes to improvisation. It'll be a tricky job, this. Mm. Goldfish gone metric, do you think? <laughs> Does it matter? Well, I don't see why measuring it matters. We've got to purchase a duplicate of this in case that one dies. Ah! He'll just go to pieces if he thinks it's died. But if we substitute a brutally healthy specimen... Very Christian of you, Redvers. Let's right. go. Just a drop. <laughs> yes, please? We're looking for goldfish. Oh, no problem. That's the, uh, that's the colour. mid apricot. <laughs> oh, I'd have said more sunset blush. Sunset blush? Yes, or perhaps one midway between that and mid apricot. Yes, that'd be about it. Will you want an undercoat? <laughs> it's got to be that length. Exactly that length. Between the knots. <laughs> I think you better choose your own. You being all good. Tolly, you home? Oh, is that you, Vicar? Come on through. Here. Hang on a minute. I better just 
conceal this thing. Now. See if you can get him trapped up in a corner somewhere. Come and look. Oh. Redvers, come and look. Oh, oh. 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 It's alive and kicking, Vicar. Swimming like a like a Well, where's Redvers? Gone fishing. <laughs> to the casual observer, Redvers. You would now appear to have a spare goldfish. <laughs> I tell you what, they're damn tricky to extricate from thermal underwear. <laughs> what do you plan to do with it? The thermal underwear? Oh, I have it laundered, of course. <laughs> Alien's very good at that sort of thing. No, it's to you, is it? The fish? No. No, 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 the, the, the thermal underwear. Hardly, old chap. Why are you inquiring about it? Was I? Well, it must have been you. It wasn't me. <laughs> it was the fish. Inquiring about my thermal underwear? No, 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 no. I was asking what you intended to do with the fish. Oh. oh. Jumble sale price. Yours, if you like. Out of the question. Make a good price for somebody. This isn't a man's problem at all, is it? Women's work. We'll ask our wives. Wives? They're waiting for us at the crossroads. <laughs> Jane's all right. She's used to hanging about. Excellent practice for funerals, but won't Aileen be a trifle waspish? I don't see why. Bought a girlfish, haven't I? <laughs> 